How is she? Well, she for yourself. How's the baby? Is he okay? Whoever took him from me is gonna pay. Bottom line. Who was it? We will not stop until we get this guy. Dirty cop beat up Diana B. What? If you're in some kind of danger, I need to know. I'm not a ghost. I can fix whatever problem I'm in. What makes you think you can trust Davis or Tariq? I don't trust either of them. We're all at risk now. What's up, ugly ass niggas? This your boy Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your ugly ass friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power Book Two, Book Two Ghosts, and this one right here is the Episode Seven Early Predictions. Now. Um, as you know, for the people that's familiar with the platform, you know, I made my predictions on pretty much what I think it will be taking place in this particular episode. And, you know, pretty much just the early predictions, you know, without getting the full um, extent of all the maybe clips and stuff that's going to be coming probably the day of before the, the release of the episode. And, uh, you know, other clues and stuff like that. You know, just me getting the knowledge that I have thus far and making my predictions. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to just go ahead and get on into it. So, um, I just started, we're going to start it off with Tariq and Diana at the hospital. And I assume, you know, shortly after what we left off from episode six, she will be rushed to the hospital because, of course, we've seen Tariq uh, calling the ambulance, you know, about her. So this has got to be the scene with her um, at the hospital. Now, why is a tear in his eye? Could it be the Could it be that the baby is gone and they just got the news about it? Or it could be just that he, you know, the possibility of the baby being harmed that it brought tears to his eyes. And this could be a sad, sentimental moment for the both of them. Whichever one it would be, I'm pretty sure it's something in that nature. Next, we're going to go ahead and get to, you know, uh, Tariq. It looks like he's heading back and he runs into Monet. And I'm guessing, you know, maybe he called her or perhaps, um, you know, someone from the hospital called her since, um, you know, she's D Diana's mom. And she's rushing in and she runs into Tariq and she's like, OK, how's the baby? How's Diana? Et cetera. And, you know, Tariq tells her, hey, the baby, I mean, Diana's fine. You can go see her for yourself. And as far as the baby, shoot. I think, in my opinion, right now, I'll say at this particular moment, he's going to say it's a toss-up we don't know yet. That's what I'm guessing. But hey, we shall see. Next, we're going to go ahead and get to the your boy Detective with Glad Carter. Of course, we're Glad Nico. Listen like they're getting ready to break into an apartment. And in my opinion, I believe this is an apartment of someone that's probably a drug dealer. That's what I'm guessing. I believe this is going to be a drug dealer who's there breaking in. And the whole purpose of this mission is to frame someone for the theft of Kamal Tate. Now, a couple of my subscribers has um, pitched out that they believe that it's possible Carter may frame Detective Nico for the death of Kamal. Um I believe also the, the first one that, um, to give that to me was my subscriber uh, Juanita Lewis. In my opinion, I don't think he's going to try to put it on Nico, but hey, you can't put nothing past this last nigga. But at the same time, I also seen somebody say he could be putting it on Felicia. I also don't think he's going to put it on Felicia. I think it's going to be a uh, uh, probably an expendable drug dealer that he knows that he can put the dirt on and think he can get away with it. You know, because he don't want to keep it, you know what I'm saying, he wants to keep his hands clean. The, the more detectives he get involved to try to frame, cap the kill and frame, it's going to be harder on him. 
But if he does it to, um, you know, a street, a street dog that's a that's a known criminal, no one's gonna really care. That's how he's gonna be looking at it. So that's the reason why I seriously doubt he puts it on one of his own task force members. But anyways, though, as you we already seen in this particular clip, he's gonna be sh he's gonna shoot the wall because he's framing it to look like. Um, there was a shootout between him and I believe that it's possible because we know we've seen um, Carter take out Kamal at whatever the uh, rendezvous spot that they were at. I can't exactly say exactly where they were at. But anyways, I think Carter is going to be aware that it's possible that Kamal logged in where he was going. I mean, it's possible that he didn't as well because, you know, he said he didn't want to say what he had to say in front of um, his task force. So that's indicating that, you know, whatever he's doing is possibly off the record. But at the same time, you can't be too careful. It's still possible that he may have told someone where he was going just in case. So you just never know. So what I think is that Kamal, I mean, Carter is going to take... Kamal's body and potentially bring it here. It wouldn't surprise me. Bring it to a different location to make it look like he was ultimately taken out here. Now whether he could he could end up making it seem like, you know what I'm saying, Kamal was dirty and he was um, you know, maybe doing some kind of dealings with whoever this person who I hear is, because I believe this person, whoever this is, is gonna be very much involved with Whatever the outcome of um, him framing someone is going to be. So, um, yeah. I think this is the person that um, Carter is going to set up to take the fall. But he's going to also take him out as well, of course. You know. And um, afterwards, you know, he, of course, he he puts the gun that, that was used to take out that person in Kamal's hand and then maybe the uh, you know the other gun that he shot the wall you know what I'm saying like that at, he's going to put into the other person's hand it's gonna be something like that I can't say you know for sure what is going on but you know he's gonna do something in that nature to set it up to make it look like Kamal was into something that he shouldn't have been into or perhaps he maybe he's going to make him look like he was just doing a cop's job and got caught up in the crossfire. Either way, he's going to frame someone for the murder. Next, you're going to get to your boy Davis McLean, of course. Um, you know, he's flirting with Noma and stuff like that. And we all know Davis don't do anything without having his own motive for doing so. So it's some kind of incentives that he's looking for um, in Noma that he's going, you know, that he's trying to get so close to her. Because uh, obviously, I don't think he's just going to be trying to look to just, you know, be with her. I, he's looking for his next move because he know Noma's pockets are loaded. So with that being said, and um. And um, we know Davis trying to make some move. What is it that I I can see Davis trying to get in closer to it? Then Kane, of course, is going to catch on to what's going on. Because keep in mind when she was going to have that meeting, because it's it's kind of like Kane and Carter. I mean Kane and uh, Davis for like at least three episodes now has been. I don't know if I want to say kicking each other under the table, but at the same time, they've been kind of having like a sparring match, a pissing match with each other on who is the better fit to, you know, be to sit aside Noma. But let's think about it. The first time when when Davis was trying to get in close and go be the person that's, um, you know, aside her to go first meet Wiley Adams, um... Davis, uh, she told him, she told Davis that she was going to be taking someone else, which turns out to be Kane. And then also, but when it came down to um, her trying to meet Riley to do the drop, she wanted to take Davis with him. But you know, um, K 
Kane would talk to her out of and be like, look, he don't even have a law license. Like, there's nothing he can do that I can. So I can see like a, a potential feud, you know, going off between them that could lead to a couple of, um, you know, altercations that I won't be talking about in this particular video. But something to think about. Next, of course, you get back to your boy, Glad Detective Carter, and he is talking to none other than our boy, Rashad Old Dog Date. Of course, he gonna be getting on his old dog, um, um, back to his old dog ways when he finds out the news that this little lad nigga is telling him that his brother Kamal has been put to rest. He's gonna be like, hold on, what is it? What are you talking about, little lad nigga? Um, apparently, he he was um. Looks like he was making some kind of, let's say he goes with, he was trying to make an arrest or making a search warrant or whatever on this dealer and it went bad. Or let's say he tried to paint him out to be a dirty cop. Either way, Rashad isn't going to just let it go and be like, okay, that's what happened. Dang, let me mourn my brother. Rashad is way more intelligent and you know he's very good at reading and picking up on lies. So I think Carter is going to say something that's going to let him know, be like, okay, that don't sound right. And he's going to, you know, he's going to look in on it. But next, you get to your boy Carter again, and he's in um, the car with Detective Felicia Lewis. Now, of course, we know the kind of predicament she's in right now, because now the Tejadas is absolutely going to be gunning for her. You know what I'm saying? So I can see maybe here they're having a discussion about, um, you know, you need to be watching your every move because these, these you know, as he would probably be saying, these animals um, are not, won't, won't just let this one pass over. Like you, you potentially killed the mother of a St. Patrick and a, a Tejada's baby. They ain't for the... Well, not a baby, a child of you know of a of a Tahada and a Saint Patrick. They ugly as hell. They ain't gonna let that go. So as you can see, she looks a little worried. Then of course you get to your boy Drew, and um, somebody told me that uh, the, the the ugly cop was doing something here. I can't remember. Anyways, though, I'm still a little stuck on exactly what could potentially be going on here. Um, uh, maybe, but judging by how that cop here is looking, it looks like he might be some kind of cop that's maybe paid off to do something or whatever, but you know, I can't really put my finger on it as of now. Yeah. Next you get to your girl Effie and it seems like she's inside of some room. Actually, you know what? I want to say this is a house and if, um, if I'm not mistaken, I actually remember this flooring. Um, if you go back and look at what was it, episode four or whatever, I want to say almost positive to, that this is Detective Carter's house. I believe they broke into his house, and this is his laptop. And perhaps um, she needed to hurry up and get in or something like that. Or, you know. I, you know what? I think, you know, it's crazy. She that she has the blood on her neck here, and we also seen a photo that I didn't put in my early predictions uh, slides, but I, we did see um, a photo with Effie and Brayden looking like they're bleeding. So I would say whatever went down at this house. It had to be a some kind of fight or something that went down at this particular place. So maybe Carter had some kind of security or whatever at his place, and they had to take them out. This is this is a little, getting a little crazy, and then this is actually fresh for me. I wasn't planning on putting this in here, but I I just noticed this <laughs> in mid slide that 
this is particularly going on. So I can see maybe it looks like Brayden was there with her. And perhaps they just went ahead and grabbed this laptop. And I believe it's going to be Brayden, her, and Kane possibly working together. And of course, they're probably going to keep Tariq in the loop as well. Because I'm thinking this might be the laptop and possibly some files um, from Carter's place that she has here. Um, the reason for this, uh, in case I'm sure ugly ass niggas might be like, okay, why are they working together? Well, if you can remember, Noma did mention to Kane at the, the last episode that the Carter's task force um, you know, ended up bringing in a lot of the uh, Russians. So they are aware of them now. So perhaps, um, you know, Kane had a talk with his mom again finally and she filled him in on everything that's going on. So now he sees that, you know, everyone's at jeopardy. We have to, um, you know, we have to get ready to go ahead and, and, um, and make a move to gain some leverage on him because that might need his hell. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I believe is going on here. Next, we get to your girl, Detective Lewis, again. And she looks just as much like last time. Like she's like, man, this ain't good. So I can see a couple things going on. Because, like I said, I believe once they attain that footage that Effie and, um, that laptop that Effie just obtained, I can see maybe them finding out even more secrets about the task force. Perhaps even the fact that, you know, they have the, the uh, tape of Tariq and them taking out Zion at the safe house. And the only other person that probably has a copy of it is Felicia, because they're going to know that due to Diana, right? Diana's going to know because... Um, because, um, you know, she told her right before she attacked her. So, this could put a target on Felicia's back. Outside of her already having a target because of what she did. So, that's going to be just even more motive for them to want to take her out. Next, go ahead and get to Tariq. And it look, this is when he's talking to Brayden. Letting him know that Diana was attacked by a glad dirty cop. Which was not other than Felicia Lewis. So Brayden looks like he's, you know, getting ready to head out and help him out. And then they're interrupted by your boy. Man, if I forget this man's name one more time. Well, I forgot it again, y'all. His name blue again. I just had his name, I swear to God. But anyway, his name blue again <laughs> right now. And pretty much, you know, he letting them know, look, I know y'all look like been, uh, been pushing drugs and stuff like that. Up in um, up in the, the dorms and stuff. I mean, up in our concerts and all that. And I'm just letting y'all know y'all look glad fire. We don't need y'all no more. And I can see a major altercation coming um, going on here. Now we see here that Tariq is having like a tussle with him. So this is gonna be. I wonder, is this going to turn into a fight? Could this be the first fight that Tariq ends up winning? <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments. Do y'all think this is going to end up being Tariq's first successful fight that he wins? If so, you um, Blue, you're going to be considered the weakest nigga in power if you lose a fight to Tariq. Because that's crazy. But anyways, next, we're going to go ahead and get to your boy, um, Tate again and I believe this right here is where they're gonna show him you know the body where he's ID in the body and stuff like that and in my opinion what I think is gonna really set Tate off Rashad is the, out the autopsy I believe once they uh, reveal the autopsy they're going to figure out through some kind of forensics that what that Carter story isn't going to be added up, adding up. Like he's probably going to make it seem like he was shot 
you know, this place, maybe maybe they can find out that the body was dead longer, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, the body was dead, was gone before the time period that, um, you know, Carter is trying to make it out to be. Like, you know, we seen that he was killed that night. And let's say they tried to make it seem like, oh, uh, he was killed, let's say, three to four hours later or something like that. And they're going to notice that, you know, because they, with that, with the technology that we have, the forensics and stuff now, they can find it out. Or let's say it could be the uh, the shot. They're going to be like, okay, um, this part, Kamal was killed from a, a close range uh, shot. But the one, that, um, the way Carter and them set it up to make it look like, like he was killed from a, 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 um, a further range um, shot. So they, they're going to know something's not adding up. It's going to be something like that, I guarantee you. That's going to let them know, okay, yeah, somebody's dirty and they're framing someone. That's how I see it happening. But anyways, next, you're going to get to Tasha and Tariq. Tariq goes over to check on Tasha. And, of course, you know, he has to tell her about her new grandbaby that's on the way. Or could have been on the way, but not on the way anymore. It's on his way to somewhere else. <laughs> but either way. You know, we've seen a little clip of um, him speaking with Tasha, and also he's going to have a little meeting, a small moment with Yaz, right? Um, I could potentially see this ending bad for Tasha. I think him going to meet her could end up being a mistake because it's going to put a target on her back from enemies of Tariq that he don't want. Now this enemy could be none other than Ugly Ed Detective Carter. Or it could turn out to be no one's way. I would say between those two, they could potentially target Tasha. Now here we see the Ugly Ed Carter and in my opinion I think he might be inside it's two different places he could be here. I think this could be the same place where we seen Braden at when he's pointing the gun at that we thought was potentially L's room. Because if you look at the background here with the little red over there on the on the left side, kind of look like that environment. Or he could be inside of his house, which I think more than likely is what it is. Um, I think he's gonna notice that a couple of things has been moved around. Maybe his people that he has said is now no longer responding and notice that they're gone or you know it's some it's gonna be something that sets him off you know people like him wiggle his hair they're gonna know they're gonna have a bunch of stuff set up to let them know somebody been in that house so that's the reason why he's coming in with his gun out checking this place and i think eventually he's gonna figure it out that okay them wig led to hottest and Tariq Lug led been on to something. But anyways, next we're gonna go ahead and get to Tariq and Diana. So Diana clearly is out of the hospital. Whether we know that the baby is down or not, I don't know, but it kind of seems like it is, because if you remember he did have a line where he's telling her, I'm not going nowhere. I don't I haven't been there for you in the past or whatever, but I'm not going nowhere. I mean, why would he tell her that if the baby is still alive. I mean, just think about that. Because clearly he's not going to go nowhere if the baby's there. But if the baby's gone, then Diana could be a little worried that he might not mess with her no more. So, who knows? I'm not saying that it's 100% gone. But, hey, that does kind of seem like it's leaning towards it. But anyways, though, I believe it's possible they, they, he, they might be meeting um, his his mom Tasha here and I could if so I could see a parallel waiting to happen so as I kind of touched on in an earlier video remember Tariq's first kill was a cop where he unalived Ray Ray and then it could also be possible that the same thing will happen for Diana so what I can see happening is him telling her look stay here I'm going to go take care of Felicia and whatever it is that needs to be taken care of. And you just wait on me to get back. And he takes off. 
So this is to, uh, Tariq loading up, you know, preparing for war. And I think he's heading out in uh, place so because, you know, I think to Diana's going to tell him that she has that footage, right? So Tariq is going to have to make a move to try to go and obtain that footage or, you know, take out someone, whatever. All I know is that he's going to be on a mission to take care of whatever the situation is. And just like Tariq in the older days, I can see that Anna may be going and taking the gun. Maybe he, he noticed the safe, the safe code or something like that. Getting She's going to some kind of way obtain a gun, whether it's from Tasha's house or her mom's house or whatever. And I think she's going to go ahead and put... Um, She's going to take matters into her own hands and decide to, like, look, I'm not going to be just uh, sitting around like some little helpless girl this time. This time, I'm going to actually go ahead and handle this myself. So she go ahead, she heads out, and she decides to do a mission. And maybe she's in at Felicia's house here, you know what I'm saying? It could be possible, and that's who she sees here. And then they have their showdown. Maybe that gun, is, like I said, I didn't put it in this particular slide. Perhaps it'll be in my final petitions. But where we seeing Diana pointing a gun at someone, that could possibly be Felicia, right? And, of course, Diana isn't a killer like that, so maybe she's going to hesitate. They fight over the gun, boom, 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 and then end up, Finishing the finishing touch will end up being this. Whatever it is that Diana has in her hand, she knocks Felicia on her ass, and that be the end of her. And of course, her first body, leaving it to be a cop. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get to. I think they're gonna head back to the house, and then Diana. It's going to tell them what did she end up doing and stuff like that. And, to, and Tariq, I'm like, I told you to stay at the house or whatever, whatever. They're going to be having that. And then, of course, they're going to hear a big, loud knock or whatever on the door or someone coming in. And then that's when you get the image of Monet hurrying up and turning, turning around, pointing the gun. And just to find out, it is none other than Detective Wiglad Carter. And she's like, Man, he's a glad nigga, man. I'm sick of this a glad nigga. <laughs> and he's gonna be like, look, I know your little glad don't uh you know what I'm saying, I know your little glad was in my house, and I know your little glad took out my partner. So this is what we gonna do. And I feel like he's gonna give them their last ultimatum. And um I, I believe he's gonna put something heavy on them. To threaten them, but I believe he's going to make a mistake, and Tariq is going to see a way to utilize um, Rashad Tate to take him down. Now I'm going to go ahead and show y'all and make this prediction in my early predictions for Episode Seven and make this call. I believe that we will see the last of Detective Carter next episode i think he will fall episode eight i know it's kind of crazy because a lot of us would probably anticipate him to be to last a little longer you know what i'm saying probably be taken out like episode nine or eight i mean nine or ten but now nah, i think it's eight because keep in mind episode eight do big characters do typically fall and i believe this is going to be it for him and the final boss will be noma I think she's going to be the last person that they have to deal with. So, with that being said, that's pretty much all I got for y'all for this particular video with my early predictions. Um, of course, as more footage and stuff is going to be obtained, of course, and, you know, we get to see more things. Some of my predictions, more than likely my prediction will change when it's time for my final prediction, of course. But, um, yeah. So, as of now, you know, definitely let me know what y'all thinking up in these comments. Um, you know, do you agree with some of my theories, some of the predictions, or could you see some of your own that you would like to share? Definitely leave it in the comments, but for now, 
If you cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your glad friends. But until the next video, I'm out.